everybody, welcome back. We've been talking about how to do complex line symbology using brushes and so forth in Adobe Illustrator, and so we're going to continue with that, but I want to show you a couple of different details and issues that you're going to run into as you start to do your line symbology, and so I want to, uh, to show you a couple of those issues and how to resolve them right now. Actually, the first little detail that I want to fix actually has to do with this first pattern brush that I made. This one right here, which is for the railway, the first one that I made. We've got this particular pattern brush here, and uh, it's very useful for drawing in our pattern right here and easily symbolizing the railroad. But here's a little detail, and it is these little details like this that are going to really make your cartography stand out and be of really publishable quality. The way that I had designed this pattern brush, it makes it start with this white, with the black outline, of course, and then go white, black, white, black, and so forth. That's no problem, generally speaking, but then notice that my line here begins with the white and ends with the black. What I think I would rather have here, a little bit more detail uh, oriented here, is for that white to be centered inside that black line whenever I draw it. What I'm going to do here is create a second brush that you can compare the two looks and see the kind of detail here that I'm talking about. I am going to create a new little pattern, and I believe that the longest one was two tenths of an inch. I'm going to make that stroke of seven. And then what I'm going to do is copy, oh, no, I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another line uh, that is exactly half of that, 0 0.1, OK. And then we're going to turn it white. And its weight was 3. Now, rather than aligning, the last time I did this, I aligned them like that. That was the mistake. What I should have done was align them to the center. That's actually the pattern that I would like to have repeat. I'm going to group that and then create a new pattern brush with it. New pattern brush. And I'm going to call it Railway 2. Whoop. Railway 3 then. Now what I'm going to do is make a copy of this line so you can directly compare them and then line them up and then apply the new brush that I made, Railway 3, to the second line. See how it seemed to move those uh, center white dashes uh, to the center? This is the kind of effect that I want for that particular railway. This one looks unfinished at this top line. It looks unfinished. This one down here at the bottom uh, it looks much nicer because it's got the, uh, the end here with the black. That looks like a finished line to me. So the secret here is that actually it's from here to the middle here that's repeating. This isn't a, a completely solid black uh, line right here. It's just half of it. And so this repeat, repeats and repeats and repeats. Uh, and makes it look a little bit better. In the interior, you would never notice, but here at the end, you definitely do. These little details like this are really going to be what makes your cartography outstanding.